All right, so what are, are a few things you can do with a web browser using a Kinetics 5500 set motion drive? Now, in our case, uh, you, you, there's a couple things you need to be mindful of, uh, prerequisites, if you would. Uh, just make sure you have conductivity to it. Um, I always open up RS Links Enterprise or RS Links Classic, and then see if I have conductivity. In this case, I do have conductivity. I'm on a private network. I have set all this stuff up um, again on my private network at, at home. So I just am showing you how to use this. Um, also to be mindful that just because you can see it does or ping it does not mean you can actually access it from the web. There, you do have to go to the actual parameter on the physically go to the drive, go to the parameter and for web interface and turn it from off to on and then cycle power. Now that comes as an off feature because of privacy, because of protection for uh, cyber security and all that, that does come as an off feature. Even though this is a read write or not a read write activity, this is just a read information. So uh, let's quickly open up. You can use Chrome or you can use uh, Microsoft Edge. It doesn't matter whatever browser you tend to use, you want to use, you can. Uh, just type in your IP address 192, 168, 1, and then dot 64. Now that is our system, and I already have this pulled up. Looks like uh, it's asking me to reset my device for some reason. Let me refresh that page. Uh, sometimes that does happen, um, but that's just refreshing the page. So this is a Kinetics 5500 drive. It does indicate the, the model name, the model, uh, the de device model. It does act, actually indicate is it stopped or running. So what is the status? And it gives you the MAC address for that plus the IP address. Of course, you knew the IP address because you went into the web browser. Now, the more interesting part that it goes into is the diagnostic features. You can see that the drive information, you can see when it's been running, uh, some things, you know, like histories and stuff behind it, drive diagnostics. Uh, this gives you the motor model, motor series, uh, the date, uh, and then it comes in here and tells you, uh, you know, output, brake enabled, engaged, whatever. And then come down here and shows you other alternative things that have been hooked up to it in the past. Um, so the next thing we want to get into is the encoder diagnostics. You can see the encoder diagnostics right here uh, when you come down to it. Uh, and then the temperature is in C. So um, I want to get into that in just a second, but it shows you in a different tab that will actually help you and benefit you more. Uh, this actually in the network setting shows you the MAC address. So what is the MAC address of the, of the actual device? This is the IP address associated with that MAC address, and this is the gateway that I'm using, so the subnet. So again, a private network, um, and then I go to Ethernet stats. I can see that I, my speed is currently 100 full. Um, now this is connected to an L8 in the very front of it. I could go faster to like one gig, but I do not have the switch capability, so there lies the problem. So I am 100 uh, full as far as that goes as far as my speed, my network speed. That's completely fine for what I'm doing. I'm doing training, testing, and stuff like that. Um, in a real world environment, you wanna be probably at a one gig speed. So network shows you again, the networks, things that have uh, opened and closed. And then the, the final thing that I find very interesting too is the uh, monitor signals. So let's start the signal, start the system. Um, I'm gonna actually run the, the servo you can see the DC bus right here. You can see that fluctuating. You can see the uh, current command. You can see the current feedback. You can see the frequencies. You can see uh, the, the actual converter temperature, the inverter temperature right here. And that's in C. So you, you still have to convert that if you're in Fahrenheit, if you're thinking you know about America, you know, you do, do everything per Fahrenheit. Um, everything else is, is basically based on, on C. So just keep that in mind. Yes, and uh, for those that are very attentive, uh, my DC bus is lower than what is recommended for a Kinetics 5500. The reason being is because I have this hooked to a 110 system. I have my system set up as a trainer system, so uh, I am running at a reduced capacity. 
Uh, this is not recommended, not something that should be done unless you are in a training environment. So with that said, please understand if for those who caught that, that's the reason behind that. Um, and it's not just as simple as, it's not a simple task just to do that. So just uh, just so we know, that's the, the understanding behind that. Anyway, um, fault, you can tell the faults of the drive that have happened. You can tell when I've had an encoder fault, when I've had a, a velocity error, when I've had an overcurrent, when I've uh, basically my node updated or whatever the case may be, or maybe I've, I've actually caused some of those faults intentionally. Uh, but again, I think the most important thing is to understanding your information, right? So this is not a write tool, this is a read tool. Um, there's a lot of under or I guess things when you're getting into kinetic sit motion and stuff like that, you, you think you can do uh, with the web page, but you really can't. Um, the web pages are made for read only type information, obviously to see if your system's healthy, uh, with the ITOT convergence thing, you know, this is the same information you could be easily pulled through an ITOT convergence type thing. Like for, uh, instance, the temperature, uh, the bus uh, rating, the uh, current uh, current would be a good one to pull in that. But again, when it comes down to it, I just wanted to show you what are some things you see with the Kinetics 5500, uh, the web page for that. Uh, you know, kind of give you the ins and outs of it and show you how that uh, does look and how that does feel. So with that said, uh, hopefully you learned a lot from that video. We'll see you guys on the next one.